Yo, guys. Check out this god-awful air. Look at this. This is possibly the worst pollution I've seen here in Shenzhen yet. And, oh god. It is so bad. Like, usually you can see past that mountain. But, anyway, that's not the topic of today. It's more of a review on this. The wonderful Sahara. Um, I've had it for a little while now, so I think I can give a valid and insightful review on it. Um, so the first thing I'd start with is obviously the design and color choice. I chose green, and I think the green is a phenomenal color. And also the round um, design of it is really unique, and I've not really tried something like it. Um, it's truly new to me anyway, and I think it makes a lot of tricks easier, but it can also be a little challenging for some tricks too. Um, next thing, oh, I've been trying that trick a little bit. Next thing is the sound test. It has accumulated a little tap. I've only dropped it a couple times as you can see here. But other than that, it's really not big of a deal. Um, it's really quiet actually. I thought it was going to be a lot louder than it really is. But it's pretty quiet, which I, I like. You can flip it in places where it's like pretty loud or like quieter areas and you don't attract too much attention, which is really helpful actually. Um, next thing is the pivots. It has these double-sided, um, what is it called? Oh, I'm having a brain fart, sorry. Uh, pins, yeah. So they're double-sided, so you have to screw both, and the first day of owning it, they did start to fall out, which was a bit annoying. Um, but I just used the, provided a Loctite, which really just fixed it. It was pretty easy of a fix. And as for the um, actual screws, let's take a look. They're not double-sided, but really they haven't started to fall out yet so that's good so far uh oh and i dropped it again so next thing we're talking about is the size and i think it's a pretty good size when it's both closed and opened it's about the same as the glider or not the glider that's the brand oops as the what is it called og4 which I think is pretty nice. It's a good size for me. Like the my crack rack in V2.5 is massive. It barely fits in my hands and it's big and clunky, but this is a very sleek design in all honesty. Um moving forward is the blade design, which is, you know, staple pretty much the staple glider co design. They like triangles a lot, which you know, I ain't complaining. I like the triangle design. Um, I've said um too much. This is a really good indicator. It doesn't hurt your fingers, but it definitely lets you know. And next up is the lube that I used. It doesn't have too much of an effect on it, which I think is a little sad, but, you know, it doesn't really affect me too much. Alright, now time for my opinion-based facts, which are not really facts, it's more of an opinion. Oops. Uh, so first, oh yeah, one more fact is the price, that's like the most important, is it was like 170 RMB, so that's around like 20 bucks. So it's, it's a cheap one, guys, it's a cheap one. You gotta give it credit for being a cheap one. Oops. That was a funky trip. Yeah. So for the price, let's start with that. I think it's amazing for the price. It's sleek, quiet, pretty durable so far. Uh, the design is great. And I'm not talking about the company. I never support these companies. And although I did support them technically by buying their product, which I, yeah, 
it's technically supporting them, but as a person, I don't support their unethical movement or acts of copying and infringing upon design, which is terrible. But let me move on to, let me think what else I was going to say. Um, hmm. Really, for the price, it's worth it because... I don't know, it's just a nice thing to have in your collection, really. And not only that, it's like a nice little sleek flipper, and it doesn't look too... It doesn't look bad, like, it looks pretty good. And I think if you're just looking for a quick, quick buy, you want something new, you're tired of flipping what you have, then I think this is perfect. And they had a bunch of different colored options, and it's great, you know. Uh, I'll, if you have questions, I'll leave my Discord in the, in the, uh, both comments and description of this video, so you can go check that out and join the community. Um, it is, oops, it's starting to rain already, because this very terrible weather. But, before I go, I want to tell you guys to subscribe, and also, I'm going to get undercover. So, that's about it for my review. If you have any questions... Oh, come on, work. Oh, well, I'm locked out, so I need to go call for help. See you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah. See it.